Tampa had open gambling in Ybor City with Belita, the numbers that was broadcast from Havana. All the citywide elections were all rigged and ballot boxes were stuffed. Um, two police officers were shot in cold blood, what seemed in cold blood in Ybor City. And this brought, at that time, the Kefauver Anti-Crime Commission to Tampa, where hearings were heard. It was pointed out that the leader of the mafia, at least in the southeast, was... Um, Traficante. S Santo Traficante. And I have an interesting story about Santo Traficante. So anyway, that was very significant. And after that, there was a citizen a vigilante group held headed by a man named Sam Davis, with whom I, to whom I bought his home. And between the Kefauver Committee and the Vigilante Committee, they cleaned up Tampa. And uh, there was not, there were, uh, things, were, things were really much better. Regarding uh, Santo Traficante, he lived near a lane in Parkland Estates in Tampa. He had a large ranch style home, one story, with an empty lot on the side. If you looked at the house, it was on the right side. This lot was owned by my grandfather, who gave it to my mother. My mother knew Santo's wife. And my mother was a hell of a woman in terms of just having guts. She didn't know what to do with that lot. She made an arrangement to see Santo through his wife. And one day, walked, in, walked up to the house, rang the doorbell, and Miss Rafficante answered, ushered my mother, mother into the home, into Santo's library where he was sitting behind a desk. And she said, Mr. Traficante, with all due respect, would it be safe for me to build a home next to you? He looked her square in the eye and said, Tilly, there is no safest area in the world than a lot next to me. <laughs> that was enough she sold it to Santo Traficante. <laughs> and nobody else in the family wanted the lot either. No, no one wanted <laughs>